my name is Mass Banker from Kaiser Power Electronics and this is a early morning junkyard video. So here I have uh, one of these uh, large UPS uh, systems. This is a uh, 20 or 30 kVA unit. So as you can see here there's uh, a nice uh, bank of MKP capacitors, there's electrolytic capacitors. We've got some huge IDPT bricks down here. Probably SK200, SKM200. And then there is the whole PFC section over here and a input filter section. Some large, nice switches, fans and a little control board circuitry here. Unfortunately, the, unfortunately, the whole bottom here is completely squashed, so no terminal for me. So yeah, it's a little noisy with the crane in the back. So let's take a closer look. The uh, output filter capacitors are uh, MKP which are rated for 450 volt AC at 60 uh, microfarad. Now the um, DC bus capacitors, I can't really see the markings on them because it's all on stickers that can only be seen from the inside. But I guess these are around uh, 3000 microfarads at 450 volts. Now the, the bus bar set up here is just some cheap thin uh, copper. It's not really worth uh, reusing for anything has some good uh, current sensing uh, sensors sitting around. Also over here. If we get down here, we can see that the um, intermediate inverter is uh, MBI 200 bricks, which is 200 ampere at 600 volts. We can't see the marking uh, with the camera, but these are uh, OIPEC FF 150R12. So this means this is 150 ampere, 1200 volt IDPG bricks. And this seems to be a newer generation than, uh, than I have seen in these units before, so these are probably faster and more useful for other stuff. Then there's also the uh, fast um, silicon fuses here. These are used uh, in front of uh, IDPT bricks, so if uh, you have a short circuit here and this can withstand a short circuit for one millisecond, this is enough time for uh, the fuses to actually blow. There's some nice big fans add up to my collection. I'm pretty near some hundred of these fans. Some um, nice uh, circuit breakers out in front and a huge selector switch here. And then there's the uh, air control board. Probably not much I want to, to save on this one. And here at the back there's a couple of nice big uh, contactors. So yeah, I will get this taken apart and uh, see what kind of uh, components I get home with me. First over here are some of the uh, printed circuit boards. There are three boards with the uh, current sensing transformers on. These are here see, these are Hall effect sensors. While these uh, others here are probably just current transformers. Then there are a few uh, Snubber boards, there are single IGPT bricks here, and then there is also one that was used for the three phased uh, bridge. So that's not quite as useful as the single uh, bridge versions here. Then we have uh, a stack of fans, mm. Let's see, nice uh, 15 watt uh, fans, delivers a hell of a lot of air. Two uh, contactors, AVB. BC30. See these are rated for 55 uh, ampere at 400 volt AC or up to 700 volt AC. Then there is the um, input rectifier bridge which is uh, SKKD 81 slash 16. So this is a diode bridge for um, 81 ampere at 1600 volts. Then there is five um, SCRs. Um, you can see here they are oh, SKKT for a thyristor, 91 ampere at 1600 volts. Then there were, was the three large IDBT bricks, which are OIPEC FF150R12. Um, these are rated for 300 ampere uh, peak, so they uh, will do quite nicely uh, in a uh, inverter for uh, high frequency, high voltage, and they have a, an incredible low uh, gate charts and switching on and off times are quite good. So 
that's quite a, a nice score on, on these IDPT bricks. Right, right when I'm, I'm talking about the IDPT bricks, um, notice all these, uh, oh, I call it washers, because uh, these are spring washers. But what's a little funny is the whole mounting thing here on the IDPTs. Because if you look at the output, you can see they have actually fitted three washers in between the uh, nice brass spacer here and the uh, terminal of the IDPG, which makes no sense. They should use something <laughs> conductive uh, or better conductive. Yeah, I know that there is this uh, the threaded part of the um, of the brass spacer here it will conduct just fine, but it just seems stupid to to use uh, regular iron in between uh, two good conductors. Then there was also a uh, good large uh, switch, uh, two position switch. Uh, let's see, it's rated for. What does it say, ampere? Also 20, 20 ampere, no, 63 ampere, that's more like it. And a small auxiliary switch. Then there was of course a lot of uh, nice uh, brass hardware, mounting hardware, isolated. A little uh, bus bar for earthing, there was all the, the straight pieces of copper bus bar, I kept those as well. Then there was um, over temperature switches. There's a 7 degrees Celsius and a 80 degrees Celsius. So there's one for warning and one for shutdown. Then there were the two smaller IDBT bricks. Some more mounting hardware. A nice big uh, battery connector. And then there was the uh, the capac capacitors. These are um, EPCAS 450 volt DC and uh, 3000 or 3300 microfarads. I'm, I'm not quite sure because the part number is a little hard to read out and I don't know where my LCR meter is right now. And then there was the uh, MKP filter capacitors for the uh, AC output. So that was um, quite a nice score. Uh, good useful parts. So if you happen to come apart a, a UPS system like that, tear the part. Uh, get the parts be happy thank you for watching if you enjoyed the short video you could also see a more in-depth teardown of uh, some other ups systems i think i did uh, a more thorough uh, teardown of this particular system but else i do have some other good uh, long teardowns of uh, some bigger ups systems so check them out on the teardown playlist and until next time see ya